My little ankles are pain. Throw me on the bed, stick my ankles in the air tonight, have your way with me. Speaking of taking it deep. Ooh, <clears throat> I can't breathe. <clears throat> anyway, speaking of taking it deep. Um, no, I don't know what to make of this. I, no, I'm gonna say, I just discovered it as in like today. I've never heard of it before. Um, and I don't know why I've not heard of this until just today. It really, uh, um, yeah. <clears throat> well, see, here's the thing. I, it's like I've, I've always known... I, I've always had this idea that this individual that I'm going to refer to kind of had some insights that a lot of other people didn't. And I never really... Like, some, I don't know, it's like you're compelled to watch pyramids and you're compelled to watch aliens and you're compelled to, you're compelled to ingest that kind of information <clears throat> where this guy i don't feel compelled to do it and i don't know why even though i think he has far more insight and i'm referring to nikola tesla by the way just for the record and i have never sat down and watched like documentaries i've never really i've never really got into the guy at all and i don't know why i i don't know why well I found this quote today. Obviously, you know, he died many, 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 many years ago. So, obviously not a new quote or anything. So, it's like, but why Why I've never heard of it is beyond me. And you got to understand, I watch, I watch YouTube all the time. I watch like ancient discoveries, aliens, whatever the fuck. I watch it all. And to have just heard this quote today... I, I, now, before I get into this, this whole thing with Nikola Tesla, oh my God, first off, well, all right, let, me, let me give you a little background, because essentially you had that scumbag J.P. Morgan, and he was backing Tesla, and he was backing Edison. Now, Edison's a piece of trash, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. You can take his little light bulb, shove up your ass. A little Edison light bulb. He's a, he's a jack off. He needs scumbag. Don't even get me started. Well, obviously you got the rich greedy asshole, and then you got the other rich greedy asshole who'll sell out to anything, aka Edison. And then he had Tesla, who's like, oh yeah, I could save the entire world. Let's give it away for free. And they're like, yeah, fuck you. You ain't giving away for free. You know. I mean, think about it. They sell us a fucking iPhone every year for a thousand bucks. It's the same damn thing with, like, one tweak. They do that with medicine. It's like, oh, uh, we added an aspirin, so it's another $1,500 a month. Fucking bullshit. Don't get me started with pharmaceutical bullshit. <sighs> Anyways, the minute Tesla said, oh, yeah, let's give it away for free, J.P. Morgan's like, yeah, fuck you, went over to Edison and gave basically all his funds directly to him because he was kind of playing both sides. Because they were kind of competing at the same time. And then Edison became the one everybody remembers. And, oh, Edison's so great. And, you know, combustion engine or whatever the fuck it was he did. And then the light bulb and all the other bullshit. I get the fuck. The guy's a scumbag. Well, whatever. You get the point. So, so then you got Tesla who had these... See, Edison was more in the moment, <clears throat> where Tesla more was into the future. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's like all fucked up. <clears throat> Speaking of the future. <clears throat> so, Tesla kind of had these ideas that were, like, so far-fetched, but they actually came true. <sighs> so, but he needed a backer, because, you know, you can't just tinker around with shit and pay the bills, you know what I mean? So who does he go to? Who does he go to? Oh, he goes to fucking Trump. Donald Trump's like, I don't know, great uncle or something. And that really pisses me off just in general. <laughs> 
there's speculation that Tesla had a time machine. Um, that he actually created one. <laughs> and Trump, Uncle Trump, I think like Uncle Scrooge, you know, Uncle Trump, Uncle Asshole, basically, Uncle Fuckbags, Uncle Money Fuckbags, Scumbag Piece of Shit. Poor Tesla got, got screwed over by a bunch of rich scumbags, but whatever, let's not even go there. Well, anyways, Tesla died. All his shit went to Uncle Trump. And the CIA took his documents and classified it and all that shit. And Uncle Trump got to read through it all, go to look through it all, and they're like, ah, there's nothing there, which is total bullshit. You know for a fact, you know for a damn fact, there was shit there. That motherfucker had ideas. Especially when you read this quote the, that I will try to read. I do have a fourth grade education from fucking Camden High School, so I will try to read this, but bear with me, it might be a little slow. Whatever. <clears throat> <laughs> whatever when you read this quote we are living it today we are living it no we are living it today the man barely had like combustion you know steam engine bullshit okay you're like toot toot little fucking tugboat willy okay steamboat willy whatever the fuck it is tugboat steamboat whatever F some fucking boat on the river going toot toot okay fuck you with a mouse on it whatever so the idea that, I think they barely had telephone, like, you know, mob bell, like, but ding but ding bullshit, okay? No. No. <sighs> Anyways. He predicted... Well, I'll read part of it here. It basically says, when wireless is perfect... is perfectly applied to the whole earth, it will be converted into, the, into like, a huge brain, essentially. Which is, in fact, it is that all things being particles of the real and rhythmic whole, we show, let's see, uh, do, 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 again, pardon me, I had a fourth grade education. No, uh, where did I leave off? Uh, we shall be able to, oh, we should be able to communicate with one another instantly. Uh, it doesn't matter about distance. Uh, not only this, but through television and phonery. Now, I don't know what the fuck phonery is, but... Okay. We shall see and hear one another as perfectly as though we were face to face, despite the distances, thousands of miles, blah, blah, blah. And the instruments through which we shall be able to do this uh, will be amazingly simple compared to with our present telephone. And a man will be able to carry one in his vest pocket. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me with that shit? Now, this is something I didn't even know. Another thing I didn't even know until just recently. Well, I was kind of getting into the whole 5G fuckery bullshit. Now, essentially what the 5G network is, it's kind of like an internet net, if you will. It's going to like encompass the entire Earth. <laughs> or at least, you know, where we have, you know, uh, towers and shit. I mean, it will theoretically, you know, I don't know about like dead center in the ocean somewhere. I don't know about all that, but it's going to encompass where people live, essentially. So, the Earth, um, <clears throat> and it's going to connect everything. If it's got a microchip, it's going to connect every single solitary thing. Now, I was thinking about this in conjunction with, let's say, the Mark of the Beast kind of a deal, where they put the RFD chip inside somebody, because the Bible does say. That, that the people who took the mark, they will essentially just burst out in like like these huge cancerous growths and shit, and these 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 these, these festering pustule fucks, and they're just gonna be like screaming and crying and wanting to die. Now I'm wondering if the 5G doesn't, because the, the people suggesting that 5G may actually cause cancer. Now I don't know if it'll cause cancer, because the Bible does say that those who don't take the mark will be exempt from that. So I don't know if it creates cancer per se, because they're saying that the the way the thing blankets everything, it will... I mean, like we're getting radio waves. From, like just, I'm holding this tablet here doing this clip, and I'm getting, you know, bombarded with shit. You know, there's the lights and the TVs and the 
video games and it's like I, I'm surprised I don't have cancer in my ass right now. I probably do, but whatever. But now we're gonna have this this blanket thing. It's like it's like this miasma type shit where you just kind of walk through like like this cloud of fuck and it's like. Bleh. Yeah, I'm surprised that uh, people are suggesting that it might kill us instantly. Like, Alex Jones, like, oh, for 5G, he's going to kill us instantly. No. No. I think if you put the chip in you, now, if you got maybe a pacemaker, it might do the same thing, I don't know, or something to that effect that's, like, mechanical, it might have a similar effect. Um, but, like, this quote here that I, that I was talking about, and others that he, because he, dude, he went on, and he was talking about Wi-Fi, he was talking about... Um, self-driving cars, uh, wireless transmission of energy, let's see what else, some of these, uh, planes that don't need fuel, he's talking about a death ray for fuck's sake, blue beam and all this other bullshit, thought cameras that can read our minds and shit, flying cars, what's this other one, remote controlled drones, I, I mean, there's some insane shit that he had like, understanding of. And I'm telling you, you throw this 5G shit in there, where everything is connected, it literally is what he was talking about. Um, where it's talking about the, uh, because the thing that the 5G will do as opposed to the 4G, because you gotta understand, when you go, like, 1G, 2G, 3, 4, it... The first couple were like leaps and bounds. Like one, one it was just like the phone, <laughs> kind of a deal, like a wireless kind of phone. And the other was like, then you can send like movies and pictures. And the other one you could do things. Four G was basically a faster version of that, but five G is going to be like super fast. Like you can do things will basically things will be sent so fast it'll be almost instantaneous. Like, insanely in instantaneous. And I was thinking about... I'm not saying 5G works this way. But I was thinking, like, quantum entanglement. Because it's almost like a like a poor man's version of quantum mechanics. Where it's like, you do something on one end, it affects the other. And this is going to be almost instantaneous. Like I said, it's almost like a poor man's version of that. And I was thinking about quantum mechanics the other day, and it was like, this is what I do. I think about quantum fucking mechanics. How fucking stupid am I? <sighs> Baby Jesus, I swear to God. Anyways, I was thinking, what if the quantum entanglement is outside of time? Because if you think about that, now, I've, talk, I've been talking about time and space and shit, and all that stuff just a lot in my clips lately and all right for example let me, let me, I'm completely bouncing all over the place and I apologize but for example the bible talks about the story of um oh fuck what's his name oh shit I can't think of his name oh shit whatever um are you talking about let oh uh What's his face there? What's his face in the, the rich man? I can't think of his name. Whatever. Who, the, 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 basically, basically, he died, went to heaven, and, and the rich man went to hell. And a rich man is saying to, like, Abraham, you know, I, I see the beggar, you know, can you please uh, get me out of here? And Abraham's like, no, fuck you. You had your opportunity. So he's like, well, this is a horrible place. Can you please send somebody to tell my brothers, don't come here? He's like, well, they're not going to believe me, you know. So, in other words, you have heaven and hell. Oh, it's not technically not heaven or hell. It's technically Tartarus, the Bible calls it. Or uh, Hades, essentially. Not hell, but torment, uh, damnation, basically. Or torment, rather. And you have paradise, which is kind of not heaven, but not, not, not heaven, whatever. It's kind of like a middle, middle road for both. Now, I'm thinking that this middle road is the same place. I, honestly, I'm starting to think, because it mentions that there's a, a void between the two, but they're close enough where they can speak to one another. So imagine if 
one's perspective is punishment, damnation, and hell, while the person next to them is living in paradise. Now think about that. <clears throat> because when we think of heaven, and we think of all that shit, like we look up and it's like, oh, the, 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 the sky opened up and we saw heaven. It was like, it's like there. It's there but not. So I'm thinking it's maybe like on another dimension. Like Garden of Eden is in another dimension that we can no longer get to. Because if we could, then we'd eat the fruit of, you know, fruit of life, the, the, the tree of life, and then we would uh, basically be sinners who lived forever. Which is why we can't have access to it. And I'm thinking it's on the same plane. Like, it's in the same plane. Like, you could be in the same room with somebody from either, you know, either side. I'm thinking it's like, almost like a layer on top of another. Now, I could be completely wrong with that, and I could be completely wrong. But I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it that way. And what that means is that side, that spiritual side, because we, I mean, we are both physical and we are spiritual. Now, I can't see the spiritual. It's in my head. I know it's there because I have thought, therefore I know it's there. And then I have a physical because I look down and I see it. So I'm thinking it's... They're interchangeable. They're like intertwined in a way. Like heaven is here, but we are kind of outside of it. We're like in a different pocket dimension, all within the same encompassing concept. Um, because if that's not the case, be, then where the hell is heaven? Is it out in space? Is it whatever's beyond space? Like whatever the hell's way, 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 way out there? Why is it so far away? Maybe you know. Obviously, I don't know. I think it's here. I think heaven is actually here, but we're just... We have literally been taken out of the that dimension and put into our own little pocket dimension. Or things like time. Because the Bible actually talks about a time when time wasn't measured. There was no time. And because there was no time... Which, that even goes into evolution and 65 billion year dinosaurs and... You know, trillions of years here and the billions of years there, and the suns of this and lights from galactic light years away. There's a whole slew of shit, especially when you look at it from that point of view. Um, and God literally could have made the world in six days if you look at it from that point of view, because all that shit's outside of time. And I'm thinking, what if quantum entanglement is the same thing? It's part of it's here. But another part of it is on the other side. And the connection is on the other side. So when something happens, let's say here, and it's quantum entangled something way, maybe on the other side of the universe even, it happens instantly. <clears throat> and the connection between the two is outside of time. So it, it may have taken the equivalent of like a gazillion light years to travel from one point to the other, but we see it as instantaneous, like, you really couldn't tell the difference. I mean, there might be a little input lag, but you're talking, if you're talking galactic light years away, you know, even, even like a 20 minute delay is not even, it's like, holy shit, that's awesome, you know? So if you got like, bloop and bloop and, you know, okay. <laughs> so I'm wondering if quantum entanglement doesn't involve almost a spiritual component or whatever the other dimension is. Um, because realistically, Adam and Eve would have been in that other dimension. And then when sin happened, God had to turn his back on it and literally ripped what we know. I'd almost, I almost envision it like comic books when they we used to do the embossed covers. Like it would be flat and then it'd be like this bump. And like the, the, the picture or whatever it is would be kind of like raised. That's how I see it. Like the bottom part, the flat part is heaven. And then the raised bump part is us. So like almost like Braille. Like you're touching it and you can feel the, the little indentations and shit. That's earth. And every part underneath is heaven. And that's kind of weird. But that's kind of how I pictured it. And I'm wondering. In other words, it's it's one and the same but not. If you get what I mean. Which could explain quantum entanglement. Now, I don't know if it does. I am not a quantum expert. I'm, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just trying to put it in idiot terms that I can get. 
That could be completely wrong. It's probably not even true, so take it for what it's worth. But anyways, I, I was just thinking about that the other day. Um, it could be kind of a cool concept. It really would be. Because... Uh, well, it just would be. I'm not going to get into it any more than that. But then you come to like our poor man's version. Because think about it. If we were in heaven, like in a spiritual world, where things were outside of time, what if we had, like, quote-unquote, in the days of Noah? What if we had the, everything that we have right now, and even then maybe some more, instant communication of what that would be on a spiritual level? I don't know. Um... <clears throat> Maybe in our mind or thought, like, oh, I just pop in your head like a, you know, ba-ding, ba-ding. Like, like, like you see in these uh, insta-chat things. and like, oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I do believe we were all connected at one point. Like, just mentally or... Like, I believe that if you were that somebody was in pain, that the other person would be able to feel them. I, I believe that definitely was a thing. I really do. Um, like, there was a connection. And I think the technology we have is kind of like a poor man's version of that a bastardized version of that and so like if we know quantum computing or quantum uh, entanglement actually is a thing and the distance between the two is almost instantaneous and that means it has to be in a pocket dimension that is just you know it, again it could be traveling gazillion light years worth of distance and actually doing it at like snail's pace, but because we are outside of that, it happens instantaneous for us, which is very cool. You know, which actually I guess, in the flip side, if you're a spiritual world, well, like it, the Bible says that a day is like a thousand years to God. So if he's outside of time, a thousand years is like a day to him. Similar concepts, so if you're quantum entangled, and the shit's happening outside of our, our space-time pocket, whatever the hell that even even means, I'm not going to pretend to fathom that, but, you know, like, if they're looking at us, like, we're looking at them, and they're looking at us from, like, the, the void, the gap between whatever, whatever the dimensions are, that veil, if you will, um, you know, who knows? I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of crazy shit going there. Now you add in like 5G where things are happening simultaneously, like almost, almost within like millisecond, like boop, boop, and it just happens, which that's awesome for gaming, by the way, which one of the reasons I've always been intrigued in gaming, especially with like a biblical concept of like end times and, you know, technology needs to be at a certain point. I've always loved video games because especially Nintendo now yeah I could buy a, a $2,000 PC and oh, you know that bullshit that's not fathomable that's not reasonable for your average consumer a Nintendo product for like 300 bucks that does the amount of stuff that the shit usually does do now granted they are on the lower end of it or like if you take a PS4 or a Xbox or whatever they're more on the higher end. But what Nintendo does is it gives you as much technology as it can for the price. And it's consumer friendly, so like everybody can get it. That's one thing I've always liked about that. So I always gauge them because, I mean, let's be honest, the Switch or the Wii U or the Wii or whatever, you know, back in the day, GameCube, N64, no, actually N64 was actually better than the PlayStation. And better than PlayStation 2, so fuck it. Whatever. I don't care what anybody says. Fuck the PlayStation. I do like PlayStation 4. I hated 1. Hated 2. I hated 3. And then 4 I really like. So, it is what it is. But on the flip side, I love 360 and I hate Xbox One. Or at least the original OG version of it. I don't... Ugh. Uh, but they did add new stuff to the other one. The, the S and the X, so... I'd probably be more into those, but it is what it is. Anyways, but you get my point. It's like, now imagine like 5G shit with like uh, virtual reality. That would be pretty cool. Um, 
where you could actually they're saying that you with this 5G network that they want to encompass everybody with that they're trying to roll out and Trump has even said he's going to do it um, whether he does or not I don't know they're probably doing it they probably already did do it they're probably you know probably just ready to turn it on you know whatever <clears throat> but like you could have a headset I could have a headset and I could do something and it instantaneously cha- it, you know it does it in your world the same way. I mean, can you imagine that? The possibilities of what could be done there? Like, I mean, imagine if you had a headset and you see my little avatar sitting there on the couch with you. And of course, you hear me talking, so my, my voice is coming out. The avatar is kind of like the, the, the little me avatar is sitting there. I mean, can you imagine the shit you could do with that? That would be pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Dude, that would be fucking awesome. Especially if you could do it instantaneous where it was like, like there's hardly any input lag. Wow, I mean, think about that. And then all this digital bullshit, all this digital bullshit that we have, and you download things. Because you're basically you're talking like maybe 8 to 10 MB. Or 4K, and then like 5K. I forgot what they said. It was supposed to be like a shitload of, but it was like way, way, way more than you're getting MB. You're getting like 8 to 10 MB, which is slow as shit. You know, <clears throat> where 5G is going to be a boop. It's going to be like right there. Maybe not that fast, but you get my point. Because, I mean, think about it, man. These freaking, you download these games that are like 70 gigabytes and shit. It takes sometimes four, five, six hours in some cases. Like, you have to, you, you basically have to turn the system off and come back later. Okay, and sometimes it, it could take up to a day. Especially if it, you know, if there was complications or something didn't work. I mean, if, in, <laughs> these fucking games are only going to get bigger. So it's like, on one hand, I really kind of dig the idea of 5G, but on the other hand, I don't want to get cancer and die. <laughs> You know, but seriously, fucking Tesla had uh, a man will be able to carry one in his vest pocket, talking about the phone, and it doesn't distance over thousands of miles wouldn't matter. Perfectly as though you, we were face to face, despite uh, intervening distances of thousands of miles in instruments, which so uh, be able to do his will, be amazingly simple compared to our present-day phone, which, again, that was back. Um, Let's see. uh, Tesla. This is from 1926, I believe. He's talking about the smartphone and shit from 1926. But again, you get the fucking capitalist, greedy cocksucker involved. I mean, think about it. They're bringing out iPhones every year. I thought I just I talked about this. They're bringing out iPhones every year for like a thousand dollars with like minuscule updates, and people just go nuts for it. Imagine if they had the consumer, just let's make the world better, like Tesla. Let's make the shit free. <sighs> but no. That's why we can't have nice things, because a bunch of rich motherfuckers have to make a dime off it. I, hey, that's why I don't have health care anymore, because those motherfuckers do, well, you, you're not making us any money, so we're going we're gonna to kick you off the program. Fine, fuck you. I don't want your shitty-ass scumbag health care anyway. Fuck you. I won't get sick. How about that? I haven't got sick in 10 years. Well, I am pushing, I am 42. I'll probably end up getting fucking sick. I'll probably get, older I get, the sicker I'll get. Fucking bullshit. Hopefully by then I can get Medicare. Jesus. <sighs> Fucking scumbag universe I live in. Anyways, back to this whole thing with, with the freaking Trumps. Oh, God, don't even get me started. And that even, oh, my God, that even goes back into that little freaking, apparently 120-some years ago, something like that, maybe. I could be wrong. There's this book about, like, Von Trump. Something, this little little fucker tweener kid with a little slick back hair that looks like Trump's kid Donald Trump's kid and it's something to do with like him and his dog and it 
eerily states things that like are happening now with the Trump family and, and the presidency and the whole I don't know it was just weird time travel kind of I don't know now some people suggest that let's say you went back in time and killed your grandfather the grandfather paradox which I don't believe in now they're suggesting that if let's say you went back in time and you want to kill your grandfather or better yet let's say you want to marry marry let's say you want to marry your high school sweetheart bullshit and you went back to a certain point and there's the old you which you can't marry her you need to convince your younger self to marry her and let's say the younger version does and you're like, okay, cool. And then you go back to your time, nothing will change. Because what that did is it created a splinter universe, alternate 1985. And now you've got two alternate universes. Now, I don't know about that. I, I have stated from before. And even if you look at the book of John, like the early part, I think maybe chapter 4, chapter 5, maybe 6, somewhere in there. Um... It does, Jesus does say that you can't ascend into heaven unless you descended from heaven. In other words, we, we were there with God since the beginning. God only recognizes his own. Meaning, you're elect, <laughs> essentially. You're elect because God knew you. In other words, if you didn't come from heaven, you can't go back to heaven. So this idea of, you know, whatever... Now, that's kind of an interesting idea, because, you know, energy is neither created nor destroyed, it only changes, so therefore, our consciousness, and I, I keep saying this, but presently seated in heavenly places, means it's already happened, we're already there, which means we were there, and we're still there. We just had a little detour when we came to Earth, when we came here, and now we're in the time uh, stream, and we ascend, basically we kind of went from the spiritual world into the physical world. And then, it, dude, if you look at the physical world, the physical world actually doesn't really exist. Like, if you look at particles, they are just nothing more than little bundles of energy that are, that are kind of clumped together to create little minuscule nothings that when you put a bunch of those little minuscule nothings, they sort of want to form something else that then gets bundled with more of those things and blah, 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 so on and so forth, that it like builds itself up. I mean, we are literally just air and nothing almost. So the fact that there's a quote-unquote physical world is actually not true. I mean, it, it's really not. It's just a matter... It's just... It's literally a matter of... Random, seemingly nothings, like little bundles of energy, which I don't want to say energy is nothing, but it's, energy is not really a tangible physical thing, but you put it in the right perspective, it actually creates something else. It has that bubble effect of like the comic book, like I said, where it goes from just a random thing to now it's actually becoming a little bit more tangible, like physically tangible, and it's, it's so weird. And then you got the conscience concept with the whole spooky action bullshit. Where, like, our conscience is actually creating things. And again, we are nothing more than just a brain interpreting signals and shit from our five senses. Maybe six if you want to talk, like, spiritual, mental, whatever. Let's say six senses. Because we do have something. We, like intuition or whatever you want to call it we do have that so we do have like a sixth sense so there let's say our sixth sense is just to be safe it may be more but we only know of those two or those six i mean um <clears throat> and it's like where does that come from where does any of that come from so when you put it all in the perspective it's just the simple fact that 
the physicality of life really, you know, it's, it's almost like this Mandela effect. What if it's nothing more than just CIA plot bullshit where they're implementing false memories into us? Now, the interesting thing about that is now some people suggest that memory, especially if you're talking conscience, isn't based upon just the physical brain or the physical body. Now, some people say that memory is potentially interwoven into the DNA. Now, I don't know if this is true. Some people speculate that if, well, if you look at the Bible, there were certain groups who engaged in sexual sin. And then that curse was literally gifted through the genetics down the line. And then their, their kith and kin did the same thing. Like you look at Ham in the nakedness of his father and that type of shit. Now, again, I don't know if this is true, but it insinuates that he may have raped slash molested his mother. Something to do, and I don't know how this works. I'm just telling you what other people said. This isn't me. So I'm just restating what they were saying. Basically, the concept of the covering, and if you look at your father's nakedness, you're essentially... It, it's a control issue over the the woman, which in this case would be his mother. So if he... I don't know. I don't want to get into that because I don't, I don't know enough about it. Um... But in the anyways, it was a, a sexual deviant perversion that happened. Which then, if you look later in the time, in, into the uh, genealogy of his family, moving forward, it happened to, I think, his grandson or something similar. Sexual aspect happened. And it was just, you know... Now, I'm not saying anything. I'm just, like, whatever. This isn't my theory. Um, but, whatever. <clears throat> and I'm not... I'm not describing it perfectly, so I, I apologize. That's why I'm not going to talk about it anymore, because it may be a, a valid thing, but I'm not saying it right, so I don't want it to, you know, persuade anybody who would be, uh, yeah, no. Whatever. But, we don't, basically we don't really know where memory is located. Is it in the brain? Synapses and shit? The way everything wires and in shit, is it is it there? No, some people say consciousness is only wired in our brain. Now, if you have a near-death experience where you people have actually died, like physically died for minutes, hours in some cases, you know, they have experiences beyond that. Now, is it just the brain shutting down? I, I can't tell you. Like, I've had near-death experience, which I've talked about before, and I'm not going to do it again, but, you know... I can attest that something does happen. I can't tell you what. But I can say for a fact that I know something happens. Like, you can't tell me otherwise. Now, was I theoretically dead? Like, technically dead? I don't know. I did stop breathing. I don't know for how long. It may have only been a couple minutes. So I may not have been totally dead. It may have just been a... I don't know. I will try to rationalize it any way I can, but whatever. <sighs> but like I said, we don't really know where that's located. They even did this uh, this weird experiment where you could take like MP MP3s and different uh, computer files and actually interweave them into DNA, which I don't know how that works. But, like, you could actually use your your, your cells as, like, a uh, storage device. Uh, again, I don't know how that works, but it's kind of creepy. Because if we can do that, then who knows what... Especially if you want to take it, like, on a, at a demonic level. And the, the fucking AI and shit. I don't know. That's some weird shit. That's some weird shit. Um, But, anyway, I don't want to get into that stuff. I'm, I'm getting into these weird theories and shit, and I don't mean to... Um, but yeah, this, this whole 
this whole thing with with the Trump family and the the time travel because because of freaking Uncle Uncle, Uncle Money bleep, Uncle Money Bag asshole with the freaking time travel device that Tesla had. You got to be kidding me with that shit. The fucking Trumps traveling back and forth in time. That's probably the goddamn Mandela effect. I'll probably, dude, it's probably Donald Trump fucking around. The guy's a fucking idiot anyway. I'm sorry. I don't want to get political here, but the guy is a complete idiot. He is. And what's sad is his 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 ilk, his followers are like, oh my god, he's the greatest thing ever. He's the smartest man ever. I don't know how you can watch that guy and say he's the smartest guy ever. You can like him, but I don't understand how you can say he's the smartest guy. Because, now again, he's either a master troll or he's just an idiot. I can't tell which one. He's definitely a troll, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He just comes across as being really, really stupid. And can you imagine a scumbag like that having time travel device? Oh, let's talk about fucking uh, Back to the Future. Biff Tannen is supposed to be representation of Donald Trump, which just irritates me because I love Biff fucking Tannen. He's like one of the greatest characters ever created. And now that, he, now that I know he's based upon asshole Trump, it just completely ruins it for me. You know, you know say hello to your mom for me. You know, butthead. <laughs> I love that guy. I love Biff, dude. I love that character. And in the fucking show, and, you know, the, 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 the Cloverfield Paradox, where, you know, J.J. Abrams and all these other assholes are trying to show us the truth, okay, I'm, I'm getting a little tinfoil hat here, but, you don't know, maybe they are, maybe the higher, maybe the higher beings, maybe the, the people in the Matrix, or the computer in the Matrix are kind of fucking with us and showing us this is what happened, fuck you, you're being manipulated, okay. What did Biff Tannen do? He went, got the stupid almanac, stole the DeLorean. And what's interesting about that is we don't know what he did other than that. We know he went back, gave himself, the younger version gave him the almanac. But we don't know what he did after. He could have been six months riding around in that thing. We don't know. All we know is he did bring it back. Thankfully. So, I don't know. I mean, we right now, we could theoretically be living in alternate 1985 with Biff Co. and in Tower, where he puts his name on the top. Oh my god, dude, it, that is total Donald Trump. I think they're trying to tell us, motherfucker went back in time. Uncle Money fucked back, went back in fucking time and raped us all. Mandela Effect... It, it basically ruined the fucking timeline. Oh, dude, it's probably that. It has nothing to do with CERN. Although CERN, I think, is, you know... CERN may have their own little if ands, or buts about it, but I think it's... Oh, my God, can you imagine that? Donald fucking Trump. Because he is... Like I said, he's either a master troll or he's just an idiot. Like, okay, look look at the thing. Every, all the liberals are like, oh, he caved, he caved on the the the, uh, the 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 government closing. Oh, my God, he caved. Ha, ha, ha. Nancy Pelosi won. Ha, ha, ha. What if that's not the case? What if there's a bigger picture? It is the government. Oh, he's an outsider. He's still in the government, motherfucker. All these people who want to sit there and say, oh, he's not a politician. I don't know. You know what? Jared Kushner is not a fucking politician. But when... Uh, what's his name? Uh, shit. The black dude. What's his name? Um, the guy, uh, Glenn Beck hates. Um, shit. I can't think of his name, but he was on CNN. And he asked Kushner a question about the Saudis. Like, what should we do if it was actually proven that they chopped up the dude purposely? You know, all that Saudi bullshit. He gave the most brilliant political answer for somebody who isn't political and somebody who doesn't live that life he gave the absolute most non-answer answer um, ever so give me a fucking break with this bullshit you're not gonna sit there and tell me these fucking people are oh they're outsiders they're outside oh my god if the seriously if the system is so corrupt, even if Donald Trump was an innocent little lamb going in there, he's going to be slaughtered the minute he gets in there. They are going to just cut him off, boom. 
instantly. So please, these people, these idiots from Camden need to freaking grasp that fact. Oh, he's working for us. He's a billionaire who left this billionaire lifestyle so he could work for us. Really? Really? Donald Trump doesn't do shit for anybody other than Donald Trump. Okay? Give me a break with that. The whole freaking Russian collusion thing. What's that about? It's about him making fucking deals with Russia while he's campaigning. And potentially after he campaigned, trying to put his name on a freaking building in Russia. That's what it's all about. He's trying to make money. So if he didn't win, well, he can make, he can put the building up. If he did win, well, he's basically trying to hedge his bets there. Which is why everybody is upset, because you're not supposed to be doing that shit. You become president, you, t- you take all that shit and you put it to the side, because it means you're, you have vested interest, okay? If you can be bought, literally, by Russia to put a building up somewhere, who the fuck knows what else you'll be doing for Russia while you're in the freaking White House? That's the whole point of that. That's why he had to give all his businesses and shit to his kids. That's why he had to do that. That's why Ivanka's doing the shit she's doing. Because that's just how it runs. You're not supposed to be doing it that way. And if he didn't do that, well, then guess what? He broke the fucking law. People don't want to acknowledge that, but it's true. I'm telling you, though, man, we are living in alternate 1985. There is no logical reason for that guy to be our president ever. Ever. I'm sorry. You can, Listen, you can love Donald Trump all you want. Take a step back from that. Take a step back. Oh, Republican, Republican, Republican. Take a step back. Just take a step back. And say to yourself, Donald Trump is our president. Say it again. Say it aloud. Say it. Donald Trump is our president. Say it again. Say it again. Donald Trump is our president. Let that sink into your fucking brain for just a half a second. Forget, oh, build the wall. Forget all this stuff and all, you know, fuck the liberals and the libtards. Donald Trump is our president of the United States. If that doesn't make you fearful of reality, I don't know what does. And all these people are like, you know, well, he's he's an outsider. He's not part of the Illuminati, globalist, blah, 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 deep state, blah, blah. Dude, how? First off, the global Illuminati, deep state, whatever, what are they? They're a bunch of rich assholes trying to run the world. What is Donald Trump? What is What is Donald Trump? What is Donald Trump? He's a rich asshole who ran for president of, of the fucking world. You run America, you run the world. Indirectly or otherwise. He's another rich asshole trying to run the planet. Oh, he's an outsider. He's going against the Illuminati. He's going... Shut the fuck up, you ignorant cunt. You're an ignorant cunt. I mean, like the British version. (sighs) These people are just... (laughs) Again, uh, I am not a liberal. I am not. I just don't like this particular guy. I don't like the fact he's a liar. I don't like the fact that he's a scumbag. I don't like the fact that he's a rich scumbag. It's not the thing. These people, we need to run our country like a business. No, we don't need to run our country like a business. You know why? Because they're two different fucking things. A business is to make money. Our country isn't here to make money. A country doesn't need to make money. It's a country. Countries don't need to make don't need to be profitable. There's no such thing as a profitable country in that regard. Not not in a we we can be profitable, don't get me wrong. But we're not here to be like, oh, what's the bottom line? No. It's not about that. Because because guess what? In a business, if you're not making ends meet and it's not as profitable as it should be. And let's be honest, most of these companies, yeah, they're making good profit, but they're like, oh, we could be making even more profit. Like, freaking Activision got pissed off with Bungie for making, like, $50 billion or some shit. Some odd number. And they're like, well, you could be making, you know, ten times that much. Or whatever. It was some odd fucking crazy-ass number. <clears throat> because a business, when it's not doing that, you know what it does? It cuts, it cuts its losses. It, it fires people. It lays people off. 
It uses cheaper printing paper, cheaper ink, cheaper this, cheaper that. It does things to try to save money to actually boost its profits. How do you do that with a country? Who do you fire? Do you fire the old people? Do you fire the disabled people? Do you fire the vets? Because, well, they're they're vets, but they're on food stamps. Uh-oh, we got to demonize them because de- we got to demonize all food stamps because... <laughs> Who, who do you fire? Oh, we just want to fire the lazy people. Oh, what do you mean? The people who work but still need it? Or the people who don't do anything? I mean, I don't know. Even if you cut those people off, we're still not going to be a profitable country. You could cut all the people off on welfare, food stamps, and all these other programs who who should not be there, legitimately should not be there. You could cut them off. You're not going to save the world. Okay, you're not. You're talking like drop in the bucket peanuts. Okay, now if it was like, oh, they're saving an $85 billion. Okay, fine. $85 billion? Yeah. Cut some of these people off and get them back to work. Fine. You were talking nothing. You were saving nothing. Okay, the debt, nothing. It, it's like these people don't understand that. <sighs> uh, anyway, I don't want to talk about that. But seriously, I, I think we're living in 19. Alternate 1985 Bifco Tannen bullshit. I think that's what it is. I think we're in the fucking Twilight Zone. That cocksucker's a fucking president. Listen, I don't give a fuck if you're liberal or conservative. I, don't, I really don't give a fuck. I mean, seriously, though, you're telling me, though, out of, what, 300 million people just in the United States alone... That we could not come up with, oh, I don't know, better candidates than Donald Trump and Hillary fucking Clinton? I mean, seriously? I, <sighs> I don't know, man. But I don't, I don't want to talk political, but... Seriously, think about that. He, Marty comes back and he's like, what the hell is this shit? And there's, there's, there's Biff Tannen, the little statue out there, smiling with a cigar in his mouth. And the thing, given a history on the TV set, talking about, you know, married his, 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 you know, first love Lorraine. It's like, are you kidding me? <sighs> Unbelievable. It's just absolutely insane. Put his name on a freaking casino tower or whatever, whatever that building was. Big skyscraper. Oh, speaking of that. So apparently Disney has this, I, I don't know, but apparently they have this, like, like Hall of Presidents or something where they have like, these animatronic presidents and they wanted to record some voice shit from Donald Trump. And Donald Trump actually, apparently, I, I don't... He had a request, something to the effect of um, that America was the first one to build skyscrapers, which just isn't true. And they're like, uh, no, we can't, ha- we can't let the animatronics say that. Because, I mean, think about it. You got, like, uh, Lincoln and all these other, you got, like, Gettysburg Address and, you know, Washington and some of the, you know, declarations and all this shit. And you got Donald Trump talking about skyscraper. And the only reason he wanted to do that is so that future people could really, you know, remember how good he was in, in like, business and shit. It's like... The guy is nothing but ego. He's not working for us. Oh, he's a billionaire. He's a billionaire working for us. Dude, billionaires do not work for us. They work for themselves. Give me a break. And anybody to say otherwise really needs to move out of Camden, New York. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Sadly, a couple of them have, and they're still still not too fucking bright. I don't know, man. But can you imagine this fucker has, like, some sort of... uh, time machine and it's like he's so stupid but maybe he's stupid for a reason maybe you know kind of like Homo is like super stupid like a fox you know uh, who the hell knows man I, I don't I don't know at this point at this point it is all so freaking stupidly insane that I would actually buy that the fucking Trumps have a fucking time travel device I would actually buy that as more of a reality than that motherfucker's our president currently I mean I don't know, man. And I'm not. I'm not going to trash Republicans in general. Okay. 
I'm not. I don't. I don't like Republicans. I don't like Democrats. So I'm not like oh my god. I like Democrats and they just don't. Donald Trump's an idiot. No, no, I'm not. That's not where I'm coming from with this. I, dude, Donald fucking Trump. I don't. I don't give a fuck if you love the guy wholeheartedly. The vile, nasty shit that he says to people should turn you off. Instead, what's it do? It delights them and it it, it excites them, and you know, like oh, the the evil news media, you know, the ones who are who are bringing the uh, hopefully the, the facts and truth to people. We're gonna demonize it. I don't know, man. I find that very scary. You can say what you will about CNN and fake news, and listen, <clears throat> I don't know, man. When they, when somebody like that starts demonizing the entire press pool, the entire press pool. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's like Animal Farm 1984 type shit. I mean, I don't know how I feel about that shit. Now, I admit, yeah, okay, press isn't always fair. I admit that. But still, on average, on average, they could do better. And especially in this day and age where it's like you got to get the click and you got to get... You got to get the news out there fast, okay, without, like, triple checking. I mean, let's be honest, there are people on Twitter who know things faster than the news media do. Okay, I understand that, I get that, and just get it out, who cares if it's right, just get it out there and see what happens. I understand that, I get that, but still, calling, calling the news, because the news is supposed to be a filter for the stupid bullshit of the president. If the president says something, people need to look into it. You know, and if the president's lying, people need to say, hey, guess what, motherfucker's lying. But no, what, what, like, what, what do they want to do? They want to basically just get their news directly from Donald Trump from a tweet. That's called proper fucking ganda, dude. That's called dear leader bullshit. I don't give a fuck. Imagine, again, imagine if Obama did that shit. All the Republicans who hated Obama. Imagine if he said, yeah, you know what, dear leader's going to speak. Go here and watch it. There's going to be no filter of, of the press. There's going to be no filter of anything like that. I'm just going to give it to you straight. You know, I'm going to tell you exactly what I want you to know. I mean, come on, dude. These people would be going crazy. If Seriously, if, they, if we let Obama get away with half the shit we're letting Donald Trump get away with, like, they called him freaking king. They called Obama king. Oh, he's, he's, he's usurping the, the, the uh, Congress, and he's, he's going around the, the, the Congress and the Senate, and he's writing laws and making... What the fuck do you think Trump is doing? Trump is going around Congress. He's even threatening to do it. We're going to call the, the uh, border wall national security. Uh, a national emergency. No. No fucking snowstorm that we had last week on the East Coast. That was a national fucking emergency. Oh, maybe not this particular one, but you get my point. Now, I'm not saying... uh, I'm not going to say that the border wall isn't a necessity or that we can't... You know, at this point, I give him the goddamn wall. Shut him the fuck up. I'm sick and tired of hearing about this goddamn wall. Give him the fucking wall. Give him five point seven billion or whatever the fuck he wants. Fuck, give him six just to shut him up. So sick and tired of this goddamn wall bullshit. Just tired of it. And look, I understand oh, there's, there's drones and there's this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. Just give it to him. Just give it to him. Just just here's what I do. I say, you want your fucking money. You want your money. That, okay, we're going to fund the government for the next two years. So you can't, like a fucking toddler, because you didn't get your way, hold the freaking government hostage like a fucking retard. That's bullshit, dude. Don't even get me started. And you know what? I actually agreed with the liberals on this one, because the president should not be holding the freaking government hostage because he didn't get his way in a dis- in a freaking policy meeting. Come on, man. That, oh, my God. If Obama had done the same thing or Bush had done the same thing, I would say the exact same fucking thing. That is just bullshit to me. I'm sorry. You're going to put people... There are people literally fearing what the fuck they're going to do. 
There are people going without food. There are people going two weeks without freaking anything. And that doesn't even include the food stamps. That doesn't even include Section 8. Now, I know people don't give a fuck about people in Section 8. And they don't care about the housing and all that bullshit. You know, their poor, poor people get them out working. Fuck them. <sighs> Whatever. But you put fear into people like that. That's just bullshit. Now, you want to put... Into, again, you don't, you don't mind putting fear into people. You went in there did a whole freaking thing about, oh, they're coming in to kill us, rape us, and tie us, and hold us in the back of vans, and put duct tape around our face. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? No, I understand it's a it, it's a subject that isn't necessarily fun to talk about. But whatever happened to president is coming out and be like, oh, the state of the union is strong and we're really good and this is great and look at how prosper. No, Donald Trump comes out and says, yeah, they're just gonna come rape us, throw us in the back of fucking vans, hog tie us, and fucking put duct tape over our face. Now, I'm not saying that every president hasn't had one of those moments where it's like, holy shit, we're all going to fucking die. But it seems like every time Trump does something ever, it's like, we're all going to fucking die. We're all going to die. Holy shit. Holy shit, we're all going to die. Even fucking George Bush, after 9-11, came out and said, guess what, everything's good, go buy refrigerators and shit, and go buy duct tape and shit. At least he tried to... Try to like make the American people feel like okay, this is this is okay. We'll be okay, you know. He got on the bullhorn. We hear you. We're gonna we're gonna be okay. Trump was like, no, fuck it. We're all dead. Fuck you. We're gonna die. We're all gonna die. Holy fuck. We're all dead. I I, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like not very presidential, dude. That shit's just not very presidential. I mean, at least try to put a spin on this shit. I mean, but no, he don't give a fuck. He don't care who he frightens. Jesus. I mean, the whole point was he wanted to frighten people because he wants a stupid fucking wall so he has something to boast about. Oh, I got the wall, I got the wall. All these idiots with a redhead. Oh, I got the wall, I got the wall. Yeah, I got the wall, I got the wall. All right, so guess what? He gets the wall, then guess what? His presidency's over. That's it. He's done. He's got nothing else to do. He got the tax... It was because... <laughs> this is what pisses me off the most. Oh... <sighs> He had the House, he had the Senate, for the most part. Probably could have got the 60 votes. Nah. Within reason, he probably could have got the votes. They're pretty close. But you know what he did? You know what he did? If, 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 if this border crisis is such a, well, crisis, what did he do for the first two years? D did he lobby for border security? No, you know what he did? He got tax cuts for his fucking rich friends that he has working in the White House. He was worried about the tax cuts first. Obviously, it wasn't such a, oh, I don't know, what, what, what what's he calling it? National security? National crisis? Border crisis? And you got these idiots with the red hats talking on YouTube talking about, well, if we don't get a border wall, we don't have a country. We've been around for 240 fucking years. Now, all of a sudden, today, we're all going to die? Now, I'm not saying bad things don't happen. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying bad things don't happen at the border. I'm not saying drugs don't come over and people don't get raped and sold in a sex slave. and all. I'm not saying any of that stuff doesn't happen because it does and we need to do something about that. But just this idea like, well, no, I think I'd rather get the tax cuts for my rich buddies first. Oh, then we're all going to die. Oh, oh, then we're all going to die. We weren't going to die a year and a half ago? It's been a year and a half. When did he get the tax cuts? When did he get the tax cuts? Sometime last summer. Uh, we're, we're not. We weren't. We're not dead yet. The country's still here. I think. Right. I'm looking at the watch on my wrist that I don't have. Um, this country's still viable, right? Now it's a crisis. Got the tax cuts. Now it's a crisis. Wasn't a crisis before the tax cuts because <laughs> we gotta get those tax cuts. Now all of a sudden. No, we're all going to die. That's bullshit to me. That's just straight bullshit to me. <sighs> Again, we've been here 240 plus fucking years, and all of a sudden today, if we do not get that fucking wall built, holy Jesus, we're all going to hell. We're all going to be duct tied and taped with, with duct tape wrapped around our fucking head and hair and face and shit. And we can't breathe. Oh, that's nothing. 
tap the uh, tape's gonna be wrapped around her face, uh, probably to the point we can't breathe. He says, "Are you kidding me? Are you seriously gonna come on the straight fucking face of that shit with me?" If it was a crisis, he should have been day one. We need to get the wall, get the wall, get the wall, get the wall. Day one, day one. Come on, Congress, give me the fucking wall. Give me the wall. Give me the wall. Give me the wall. Give me the. Wall. He didn't say jack shit. He didn't say jack shit. He hinted, oh yeah, we're still gonna get the wall. Yeah, yeah. Let's get the tax cuts first. We'll, you know, we'll get the wall. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, this is the idea that mother... I, the idea that I can mentally get my mind around the idea those motherfuckers have a time machine. I don't know if they can change much. I think they can go to and fro and see what happened. But I don't know if they can change anything. But... That, to me, is far more believable than the fact he's actually our president. Uh, that's Trump derangement syndrome. Like, these motherfuckers didn't have Barack Obama derangement syndrome, you fucking nit. Remember eight years of your bullshit? Eight years of the bullshit that they said about that guy. They, I'm sorry, some of these people who are Donald Trump supporters that I know... That we went to school with, went to church with, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Some of these fucking people are just brain dead when it comes to stuff like that. It's like it's okay because he's a liberal, so we can just throw him under the bus. But this other guy, he's a scumbag. We acknowledge he's a scumbag, but he's got a little R next to his name, and it makes him all that he's sent from God because he's got the R next to his name. Uh, no. No, God also sent Barack Obama too. Yeah, God even sent Dick fucking Cheney for whatever fucking reason. <sighs> Don't get me started with nine eleven. Don't even get me started with that fucking shit. Stupid scumbag. He shoots his fucking friend in the face. Don't even get me started with that bullshit. Anybody shoots your fucking friend in the face? First up, you're going to this little cannery where you're gonna shoot ducks or. Pigeons or clay pigeons or whatever the fuck it was he was shooting. That's not hunting, dude. Oh, we're gonna go hunting. Oh, Dick Cheney out hunting. That ain't hunting, motherfucker. Why don't you go out there with a freaking knife and some mud on your face like fucking Rambo and take out a tiger? That's some hunting. That I like to see Dick Cheney do. You do that, motherfucker. Out there with a stupid little safari suit on, talking about oh, oh pull the trigger, pew pew. Oh, the little duck flew overhead, pew pew. Buckshot, bullshit. Bullshit. It'd be like going to a farm and, 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 and shooting a cow in a dick with a fucking uh, bow and arrow. That ain't hunting, motherfucker. That's, that's, give me a break. Honestly, God, you let me go into the supermarket, picking up a thing of chicken and say, I hunted this today. You didn't do shit, motherfucker. Hunting. I got your hunting right here. <laughs> I got your hunting right there, motherfucker. And shoots his friend. How the hell? You got two old guys in the fucking little pavilion over there wearing wearing brightly colored vests and old Dick is like, yeah, let me plug this fucker in the face. <laughs> he was our president. Let's be honest, Bush was too stupid to be our president. Let's just call it what it is. <laughs> Bush was just there. He was just sitting there. He was just, he, he was, oh, he's the president. You know Dick Cheney was running everything. <sighs> <laughs> Don't even get me started. But yeah, I would tell. I honestly, if I were the freaking Democrats right now, I'd be like, all right, you want your fucking money? Fuck you. You get your money. You get your fucking money. You get your five point whatever. But for the next two and a half years, the end of this particular term, if <laughs> if God loves us, he won't get reelected. But hey, whatever. I'll take any Republican at this point. I don't take anybody. I would take, I swear to God, I would take almost anybody over over fucking Trump. Mike Pence, I take Mike Pence. I take Mike Pence. I take him. I I I take Mike Huckabee. I take any of them. I mean, honestly, 
Lindsay, fuck, I'll even take Lindsey goddamn Graham, for fuck's sake. That guy's a fucking idiot. I'll take him. I'll even take the turtle. Dude, I would take the turtle as our president. Mitch McConnell. I would take that motherfucker as our president. I put him in, put him in some, uh, uh, you know, formaldehyde. Put him in a little jar somewhere. He'd be in there bubbling around, little 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 jar, a little brain in a jar. Okay, put him in there. I take him as our fucking president at this point. I take an old dirty shoe as my president at this point. I take Chuck fucking Schumer as my president, for fuck's sake. Now, although that, that in and of itself would have its own little ball of bullshit. That motherfucker, that motherfucker don't fight for shit. Unless his fucking donors tell him to. I'm surprised. I'm surprised they held out as long as they did with this wall bullshit. Holy Christ, his donors must have been like, hey, don't you dare. I swear to God. Don't even get me started with Chuck Schumer. Holy fuck. And you know what? You can say what you will about Nancy Pelosi. She doesn't get shit done. Whether you like it or not. Yeah, I at least got to give her that. Okay. She does get shit done. Okay. No, it might might be for the worst. It might be sending our country to hell. Whatever conservatives want to say. Like, oh, oh my God, they're all evil demonic liberals. are sending us all to hell and blah, blah, blah. But she does, she does get shit done. You gotta at least give her that much. It may not be to your liking what she gets done, but she does get stuff done. You know? And she got more done than Trump did. <laughs> she, She's only been in power for a couple... Dude, she's only been in power for a couple weeks. She got more done in, in like three weeks than Trump did in almost two years. <sighs> Whatever. But she's... I don't need to get me started with her either. I, I got my own issues with her. Again, I'm not playing favorites. I'm like, oh, I like the Democrats. Oh. No, I don't give a fuck about Democrats. I don't care one way or the other. If the Democrats are right, and yes, they can be right, fine. I think they were I think they were on the right side here. I don't, you know, I don't think the president should be using the government as his own little freaking hostage piece, okay? You're talking you're talking thousands and millions of people fearing for their livelihood, you know, their 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 existence. I don't say don't say livelihood, but you get my point. Whether it's it's whether it's food or whether it's housing or whether it's just fucking pay. And you got these billionaire motherfuckers. I don't know why they're going to food banks. Now, okay, some of the people are saying that some of these uh, government workers are making like. 116k a year. Okay, maybe. Okay, you make 116k a year. You can go a couple weeks without it, you know. But not everybody, not everybody was in good standing with their, you know, with their credit cards, and not everybody was good standing with all the other stuff. Not everybody had a big enough savings, and if they did, they probably went through. It's been a month. They probably went through any little bit of savings they did have. So it's like. Pfft. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't know. But yeah, seriously, these, these rich cocksuckers, they have no fucking clue. No clue whatsoever. Of course, Donald Trump's like, oh, I don't want to hire poor people. It just wouldn't. I just wouldn't do it. So hire rich people. They know they know how to get things done. You know what? I bet you, I bet you a poor person knows how to get things done, too. They just don't have the means to actually do it. If I had money, I could be doing shit too. You know, if I could get a million dollar, four million dollar loan from my, my f- idiot father, hey, I'd probably get a lot of shit done. Or I squander it, one of the two. <sighs> you know, not everybody has that luxury. You know? I'd probably be doing great things if I could get a team of people who knew what the fuck they were doing. I got the ideas, they got the talent to actually make it happen. I bet we could fucking save the world, but no. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to trust me with any money. I sit around thinking up ideas all day. I'm literally sitting around thinking about fucking quantum mechanics, for God's sakes. How fucking pathetic my life is. Yeah, I don't get laid often. Let's put it that way. It is what it is. 
fucking stupid. Whatever. Don't get me started with that bullshit. Anyways. Oh. Yeah, I want to talk about the Nikola Tesla shit because it was just... Like, he prophesied and shit. He's like... Like, there's this one woman on Facebook, or uh, YouTube. <clears throat> I forgot her name. She's this blonde woman, and she's like, oh, a prophetic word from the Lord. Nothing she's ever said has come true. Not even remotely close. She's saying that, oh, Donald Trump's being visited by demons, and somebody put, uh, you know, something on his toast. I mean, it's just weird fucking shit. Not one of her predictions. She does a lot of predictions. I, I got a dream and season from the Lord. And none of her shit come true. She's literally false prophet on every level. And, you know, yeah, she's she's more successful than freaking Nikola Tesla was. She's more popular. She's got more likes and follows and, and bullshit than Nikola Tesla. Now, obviously, it was a different time frame, but you get my point. <sighs> and that guy, at least prophesied the future he prophesied having you know phone in your pocket where you could <coughs> basically wi-fi around the world <coughs> are, are you kidding me yeah more people don't listen to what he had to say i don't know it's just sad this sad state of affairs it's like the people who get it Nobody cares about the people who don't get it. Like, oh, yeah, that's great, that's great. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm getting to the point where now I can't stand politics across the board. <sighs> you can understand. I no, I admit I did go from diehard Fox News to I don't really give a fuck to I'm watching MSNBC. Now I will say that MSNBC. What I like about MSNBC is that they come out and say, we're liberal, fuck you, I don't care. I can deal with that. We're Fox News. They try to twist it. It's like, oh yeah, we're conservative, but we're fair and balanced too. And again, their idea of fair and balanced is, well, everybody else is super liberal, so we're going to be super conservative. Well, again, that's propaganda. That's not fair and balanced. Again, that is propaganda at its heart. And... I don't know. <sighs> So yeah, I I, I kind of switched back and forth. Now it's like I'm not watching MSNBC. I'm not watching really anything. I'm not really watching any news. I can't deal with the news anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. Okay, I figure most of the shit that I need to get, I get from like a little bit of YouTube and a little bit of Facebook. And I know there's bots and bullshit and all that stuff, but I'm talking like when, oh, gee, a celebrity dies, you know, that kind of stuff. Or, gee, there was an earthquake or... You know, OG, uh, you know, your favorite video game, this, that, or that. That's basically all I need. I, I'm not, I don't, I don't sit, I don't care anymore about fucking politics as much as I used to. I'm trying not to post as much stuff. Because uh, I used to post stuff just because I knew people would get pissed with it. Like, especially the Trump supporters and all this other stuff. Like, I would post stuff that I know they'd get upset with. Uh, and it's just like, it's, what's the point? They're, they're still set in their fucking ways. They're not going to... Like, Christ could literally come down, slap him right in the fucking dick, and be like, hey, wake up. And he'd be like, huh? What? What? Was that just a bee sticking me in the dick? No, it wasn't a bee. It was the Lord slapping that guy in the dick. Stop being a fool. Okay, I don't know I gotta be slapping him on the dick. But you get my point. You get my point. He, he's hitting him... Basically, he's, he's, he's hitting him where he lives. He's hitting him where he lives, basically. is what I meant by that. And people just like, you know, die. They don't give a fuck. They don't even know the grass amount of it. They're set in their ways. They're right because they were told they were right by other people who said they were right. You know, the, the pastor from the local church, he propagates bullshit. And then the congregation propagates bullshit. And then, then they raise up leaders who propagate the same bullshit. And then goes out and propagates the same bullshit over and over. So then you got this collective network of people propagating the same bullshit. And what do they do? They listen only to one another because it boasts what they feel and what they believe. Because it's what they've been told. That's why you got born-again Christians who are just, Oh, I can't wait to be a Republican. 
You got, you got people who are more worried about being a Republican than they're actually being a Christian. And then you call them out on it. It's like, you know, how is taking health care away from somebody being Christian? Well, liberals. Hillary. Hillary's not an answer. Obama. Obama's not an answer. Benghazi. Benghazi's not an answer. How is taking health care away from people Christian? Well, evil liberals. Evil liberals. What? 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 What's that got to do with anything? What, what, what's that got to do with anything? How come the party of, of God, in your mind, the Republicans, how come they're not giving us health care? How come they're not making health care affordable for people? You'd rather give tax breaks to the rich, but you don't want to give health care to poor. Uh, last time I checked, Christ went into the temple, made whips and shit, and whipped everybody and overturned the tables and said, Get the hell out, you bastards. Literally. I mean, but yeah, I'm I'm the bad guy. I'm the one who's not saved because I said the F word. You know, I'm this, that, and the other. But hey, you know what? I'm the one who's wrong. I'm I'm definitely the one who's wrong. You know, Christ said, knock it the fuck off. I say, knock it the fuck off. And you're like, whoa, whoa, you're wrong. You're the evil one. We know it. We know everything. Hey. More power to you. It's like, I've used the analogy, people want to look over the fence at the quote-unquote evil demonic liberals who want to destroy America, but they don't see Aaron Rand coming around from behind giving them the reach-around. They only give them a little tug on the nuts. They, they're, literally, Aaron Rand's going to come around and slap you in the nuts, you're not even know what hit you. And you're like, what? Who's that? Who? Jesus, was that you? No, it ain't Jesus, you motherfucker. It's evil. It's wicked. Satan. Antichrist. You're propagating Antichrist, you're too stupid to even realize it. Oh, well, it's better than it's better than the evil liberals. Really? Really? At least God puts on their heart what he wants them to do. No, not in all things, obviously. You know, things like abortion and shit, but you know, hey. I'd rather take a liberal who's cold, who wants to give health care to poor people, who wants to feed the sick and heal the hungry, whatever. <laughs> totally said that back. You get my point. <laughs> you get my point. It is what it is. I'd rather take that than some lukewarm asshole that Christ will spew from his mouth. Now, I don't know, man. I don't like lukewarm water either. I don't like. I don't like water that's been around. Although I, I will drink it, but I prefer to have a cold. I, I'm just gonna throw it out to you. I don't even really like like warm stuff anymore. I don't like hot cocoa. I like hot cocoa, but nah, never been a coffee drinker. So it's like I don't really like hot water, hot stuff. Maybe in like the winter time, that's different. But you know, I don't know, man. I just rather have cold. I don't know, whatever. <sighs> no, I mean, seriously, these people—they're not gonna get it. They don't want to get it. That's the thing. They are content where they are. Now, I don't know. What does the Bible say about contentment? Now, yeah, we should be content in the things that we have and not dwell on things we don't have. There's that. But, I don't know. What if you're wrong? Well, we're not wrong. Well, see, right there. Now you're wrong. Again, again, these people, it's like, well, if we're being persecuted, it must mean we're doing something good for the Lord. If Satan's coming against us, we must be doing everything we can for the Lord. We must be on the right page. Or are you just an asshole? Or are you just a fucking asshole? How about that? Just throw that out there. Maybe you're being persecuted because you're a fucking moron. Like these little fucking assholes with the, the mega hats talking about uh, going up to the Native American. They're like, oh, sure, sure, sure. everybody jumped to conclusions. And nobody jumped to conclusions. They went there... Wearing stupid little mega hats. Clearly not with their Bibles. Clearly not trying to get these people saved. For Jesus. And telling them about Jesus so they don't go to hell. They went there to antagonize. You, you don't wear your fucking little mega hat. If you're not there to antagonize people. You know we're going to get upset by it. And I talked about this a few times. Again. Imagine if, imagine if I walked into Fox News wearing a Obama's Great t-shirt. 
They're going to flip the fuck out. Imagine I walk into church wearing a Metallica t-shirt. They're going to shit their pants. You're going there not for a good reason. You're going there to propagate what you believe. Which, okay, fine. If they believe that, fine. Great. But they're going there not... Not to help anybody. Not for the glory of Christ. They're going there for their own bullshit. That kid sitting there smiling was, was there for his own glory and his own bullshit. Don't tell me otherwise. I'm sorry. Well, there's these evil liberals and these evil... All well, the evil black people are calling them crackers and you know, saying all these horrible things. Calling them faggot. Calling them this. Calling them that. I don't care. You know why I don't care? Because they are the sinner. You are supposed to be the Christian. You don't go there to antagonize them. You go there with the love of Christ to try to win them. Okay, going there and immediately having them put up a wall to the point where they do not like you, to the point they do not want to hear you. Now, now if they had gone there with the Bibles and like, you know, we want to tell you about Jesus, and they're like, oh, you faggot, blah, 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 and they go at him that way, fine, fine, fine. I'm with you on that, but no. They went there purposely to be dicks. And don't tell me otherwise. You can't tell me with a straight face that that's not what they were there for. A group of people doing that, no. They went through with the wrong intention. Bullshit. Anybody says otherwise. And I don't care. It's almost saying that. I, I, I no. You, you can't convince me otherwise of that. Again, if they went there with pure intention, fine. Fine, but you don't go to that place with people who, I mean, honestly, it'd be like going there with a Confederate flag. It'd be like going to Martin Luther King rally with a Confederate flag. Well, it's Southern pride, it's just that, but you know it upsets them. You know the Confederate flag upsets black people because of what it represents and what it entails to them. It may mean the greatest thing, the glory of Christ on earth to you but to them it's upsetting now again they went through with the bible and it did the same thing fine I don't have a problem with that you went through with the right intention they got upset they rejected it fine but when you're purposely going there to antagonize and fan flames of fire and bullshit I and then and then they're freaking uh chaperone is like oh they're persecuting us they persecuted us we're christians and they persecuted us really you show up on the mega hat people you know are going to get upset by the mega hats then get upset and now you're being persecuted my god these oh, i don't even the words don't even I, I think i just lost brain cells thinking about that Anyway, I don't want to talk about that again. I talked about that in a clip not too long ago. I honestly got these people. I swear to God. It's like... People can just get dumber and dumber by the second. I don't understand it. Do people not actually think outside of the crack of their ass? Pull your head out of your fucking ass and try to think for a change. You know, seriously. Come up for error, you know? Like... No, they're just wallowing in their own shit. Literally, head way up in there. Like, hey, is that corn from last week? No, motherfucker, it's feces up your ass. Fuck you, get your head out of it. You moron. And again, we're talking two political systems of a worldly system that is run by Satan. Now, from their, from Christian's point of view, that's what they say. The world is run by Satan. All the kingdoms of the earth are of Satan, oh, except for America, because that's, that's the only shining beacon of light that God gave. Again, when were we the shining beacon? Was it during slavery? Was it during uh, Trail of Tears? Raping and murdering Native Americans and sending them on the way? Were we uh, God's beacon of light when we went into Iraq for absolutely no fucking reason? Killed a bunch of people for no reason? I mean... I don't know. Oh, we're born bringing democracy to the world. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Don't give two shits about democracy. No, they don't give a damn about democracy. They simply wanted to to uh, try to jumpstart the Arab Spring. I'm telling you right now for a fact because they wanted to put their puppets in place. 
you know. But hey, whatever. What do I know? What do I know? I just sit here and watch that shit. Every day, I sit here and watch that shit. Got nothing else to do. <sighs> Anyways, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm tired. NXT is about to come on. I got pizza. I got wings. I got, I got salad. Oh my god, that shit was so fucking expensive. It cost me like sixty three fucking dollars. I was, I wasn't gonna give. I didn't give the motherfucker tip. I'm sorry. Not at sixty three dollars. I was like, you want a tip? Tell your boss to fucking lower the prices. Fuck him. They keep raising those goddamn prices, dude. Holy shit. Large pizza, 25 wings, a small antipasta with extra um, crispy buffalo chicken. And it's after I got rid of the uh, the onion and I got rid of the tomatoes. A two liter of Pepsi. Oh, and a combo platter, which had um, two big chicken strips. Two breaded pieces of chicken. Um, three mozzarella sticks and a small handful of uh, onion rings. $62. I, they even upped the price just recently because I was thinking, okay, well, the pizza wings are going to be about $32. Figure 35 by the time you add tax. And a few other things. And of course, delivery is $2. So, if, yeah, about 35 bucks. I was then going to add a sub, because I wanted to have a sub for Monday, because I'm low on food. I figured that's going to be about eight something. It's figure nine. That's fucking, let's say ten. So now, now we're talking uh, like $45. Then I was going to add in the uh, soda, the combo platter, and the um, uh, and a pasta. And it should have come to about $62. And all of a sudden I'm looking at $62 and I don't even have the sub in there yet. I'm like, what? I mean, they up their prices like nobody's freaking business. Uh, the only reason I bought so much shit is because uh, tomorrow's the Royal Rumble. Of course, they don't deliver on Sunday. So luckily TN, uh, TNA, yeah. NXT is on tonight. So I'll have NXT tonight and then I'll have Royal Rumble tomorrow, which I'll have leftover cold pizza and wings tomorrow, but that's okay whatever's left of the salad. So, <sighs> yeah, it'll be good. Either way. Anyways. Luckily, I only do that for the... I only buy pizza and wings for the big four. Like, occasionally, I might I might go crazy and buy, like, a uh, a sub with, like, ten... No, actually, I'll probably get, like, ten or two. Between ten... Eh, no, usually I get to ten. I got like 10 chicken wings, like in a sub, and maybe some fries or something. And that usually costs me about 30 bucks. Or no, actually, shit. No, it actually does, about 30 bucks. By the time I, I send it, maybe like 30, 32, whatever. Sometimes I'll do that, but I don't do pizza and wings. I only do it four times a year. And that's during Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and uh, Survivor Series. Basically, about every three to four months. Thank God, because this shit's expensive, man. I probably could have done away with the salad, but I wanted to have shit for tomorrow. Then I wanted to have the sub for Monday, so it was like... Psh. So I had to put the sub back, So I was not going to do $71 worth of food. No, actually, it was like 72 when it all came done. I'm like, you know, fuck that shit. So worst case scenario, maybe Monday or Tuesday I order a sub or something, or I don't know. Because I can do a sub... Onion rings and French fries for nineteen ninety five, which I don't think that's actually too bad. You get a side order of fries, a big sub. I don't think that's too bad. Um, well, I'll probably get, I'll probably do some more Pepsi or uh, something, but I don't know. Or I can do like an iced tea for like two dollars. So yeah, it'd be like twenty two dollars. That's not too bad though. You get you get one of those iced teas, a plate of fries. And a plate of onion rings, and a sub. That's not bad. Twenty bucks. I that I don't mind. But like their pizza is just out fucking rate. The, the pizza itself is fifteen dollars, and that's just a cheese. You want to add toppings? It's a dollar eighty-five. No, it's a dollar thirty-five if you get the small. It's like they're what putting a little sausage on there. Seriously, a couple green peppers, really. 
and then they cut them so thin, it's like they're barely on there. You're barely getting a taste of them for a dollar eighty nine or eighty five, whatever the hell it is. I'm like, screw you, people, scumbags. I'm like, yeah, you want to seriously? You want a tip? Tell your bosses to fucking stop being assholes. Lowered prices. I I would have given them a tip. I was gonna I was gonna give them like five bucks. I was like, no, fuck them. Which I know is not fair, but actually I think what they do is they put all the tips together and they split it. So it's not even like the guy who brought it, you might see like, you know, three dollars of it. It's like, pfft, whatever. I'd rather just give the guy fucking a couple dollars in cash when he's here. Like, here's two bucks, you know, hand it to him. <sighs> yeah, I'm cheap when it comes to stuff like that, I admit. But yeah, no, I spent, I spent like 60 bucks. I was like, no, nah, I, I can't afford a tip. Because, if I, dude, if I had a tip, it's like, now it's 65 And it's like, shit. I did tip last time, so I figured, you know, maybe next time I'll tip a little bit more. I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing tonight. Actually, shit, it should be on... Actually... The pre-show should be coming on in like 15 minutes, I think. Anyways, I gotta get going. Fuck. Anyways, that's it. Fuck you.